This is the only piece of technology that I saw working to control varroa mites effectively, not only on my own hands, but also independently verified by commercial beekeepers in the United States, Wonderful Bees, one of the biggest beekeeping operations on the planet, and also University of Florida. In this video, I want to bring you to my journey to be finally convinced that this technology can deliver tremendous value to the beekeeping industry around the world. If you follow my videos, you know that I was approached by two bee technologists several years ago to evaluate the results they got using this technology in Israel with commercial beekeepers. The technology relies on a device that can deliver precise amounts of different compounds at specific times of the day, several days a week. The beekeeper just needs to put the device at the entrance, press the button, and the device will deliver pulses of medicine several times a week, not only saving lots of dollars in labor since the beekeeper doesn't need to visit the apiary as frequently as normal but also minimizing the use of chemicals inside the colony which was to be honest what made me more excited about this technology at the moment the company is working with amitrax but all other types of treatments will be available too if you want to know more details about the technology please find these two videos on my channel or visit their website in the paper the results from Israel using Amitrax were amazing, but because they were not done in conditions appropriate to commercial beekeepers in the United States, and I didn't know the people behind the company at the time, I declined working with them at the beginning, but instead I proposed a challenge. I told them that I have seen many companies approaching me with fancy technologies in the past, sensors, sound, blah blah blah, and nobody delivered. And I was tired of wasting my time with fancy technologies for honeybees. If they truly want to work with me, they need to let me test the device my way. The idea was simple. Basically, I was telling the company, if you trust your product, let me test it my way. Otherwise, don't waste my time. To my surprise, to be behaved differently than the other companies that requested my help in the past. They did not hesitate to let me play with the device. All other companies run away like chickens, which already told me what I need to know about them. I first let a commercial beekeeper of my choice in Florida test the device with a couple of hives and compare the mite kills with his normal mite control of choice. To my surprise, the beekeeper was very happy about what he saw and reported that the device surpassed his own expectations because he tested against a hive that he knew had Amitrax resistant varroa mites and the device was able to kill lots of mites that his normal mite control of choice was not able to. The only complaint the beekeeper had was some problem with the device feeding in the entrance of the American standard beehive. More about how the company solved these problems later in this video, big surprise coming. I then encouraged them to go to Wonderful Bees in Florida, one of the biggest beekeeping operations in the country, and ask them to test the device with their bees. The results were great, to the point the 2B got a pre-order of 3000 devices on the spot. I also go over with more details about those results in this video right here. At that time, I was very enthusiastic about the product. My last test to the company was to suggesting them to approach a bee lab of my choice to perform a study under a more restricted protocol where I could get more numbers to look at. And again, without hesitation, they were in and I suggested the University of Florida with Dr. Cameron Jack and Dr. Jamie Alice. And the results from there were beyond my expectations. The results not only confirmed the results from previous study in Israel and from wonderful bees, but they were even better. Check this out. The control group with no treatment at all showed, as expected, terrible mite control. Look at this low efficacy of 11% and, more importantly, this huge error bar that is telling you that these mites completely destroy these hives. Next, things got a little better using apivar strips, a common mite control treatment used by beekeepers in the United States, with 41% efficacy but also with a huge error bar. That shows you that even with the EPA approved treatment, there was a lot of damage caused by mites and a lot of inconsistencies. 
However, look at these results from Hive Master from 2B Technologies. 95% efficacy with a very small error bar, showing you that the device was precise and efficient with almost no variability between the hives. Very impressive results. Do you know how hard it is to get results like that? I have done so many field trials in my life, and I can tell you that these kind of results are hard to get with field trials conditions. And let not forget that this result was obtained using 90% less Amitrax inside the hive compared with other products in the market. The only remaining issue was that the first prototype wasn't designed to fit US honeybee hives entrance very well. And having this device mounted outside the colony could attract unwanted attention to the bee yard, which is something the US beekeepers would definitely want to avoid, which was my ultimate test to the company. Does to be technology listen to beekeepers? Well, I got my answer. Introducing Hivemaster 2.0. The company completely redesigned the device, making it look like just like a normal frame that can be used inside the colony completely hidden from the outside. With the press of a button, the device is activated, opening the delivery window on both sides of the device, precisely designed to avoid propolization, while the system gets ready to heat the impregnated paper containing the medicine, in this case Amitrax for now, to release pulses of the compound using a soft fog that will circulate inside the hive with the help of the vents distributing the medicine homogeneously throughout the colony. No more messy medicine distribution where bees must touch heavily concentrated strips and then touch other bees randomly with the hope it will spread throughout the whole colony. Precision is the key word here, folks. And one of the most impressive things for me to see was to follow the folks from To Be Technology working all of this in the middle of a war having meetings with me that initiated in a backyard and end up in a shelter sometimes. The company is reaching out to beekeepers in the United States and getting pre-orders by the thousands with a special deal for first-timers. For example, the president of American Honey Producers Association, Chris Hyatt, just pre-ordered 2,000 devices and let me not only use his name but also ask me to tell everybody at home that this technology can be a game-changing. I think my job is done here. What I can tell you is that the technology works and can provide significant value to the industry. Now what needs to happen is the conversations between company and customers and let the free market do its magic. Also, it would be nice if the EPA cooperates and expedites the approval of this delivery system that reduces 90% of Amitrax that is already approved by the EPA and other products. This reduction will counter the terrible interactions with other chemicals that I constantly mention on this channel, which to me is almost as important as the reduction of mites itself. This allows the bees to become stronger in defending themselves against other natural enemies and ultimately producing more honey and perform better pollination. If you're interested, please visit their website and sign up to their email list. That's my story with 2B technology so far. I'm looking forward to seeing all kinds of improvements they will add to the device, especially now that they have all this amount of room inside the device to work with. It could be new sensors, rotation treatments, etc. Who knows? The sky is the limit. I think it's up to the market now to drive the company's decisions. That being said, please leave your thoughts about the device and let them know what would you like to see installed inside this device in the near future. Before you go, I just want to let you know that I'm moving my podcast to a completely independent YouTube channel. If you like my interviews with honeybee researchers where we talk about their work and their results, please consider subscribe to my new channel. Thanks for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about beasts. See you guys in the next video.